My name is Michael Piachowski, and I'm the senior fellow at UNASA the and the Institute for Educational Advancement. I was invited in uh, many years ago, in uh, 99, to come to UNASA, to not UNASA, to the Institute and join with a group of people collected by Betsy John, the president of IEA, and Jim Davis, the vice president at the time, and they were co-founders of IEA, for a retreat to think about what can we provide for gifted children besides academic programs. And the idea came up very quickly to provide something for personal growth. From that retreat, retreat emerged the idea of a camp, a one-week camp, where gifted children as young as 10 up to age 14 could come and be together. They're often alone, isolated, not finding other kids the same age on, the same, on their level. And they wonder, am I the only one here? So over the years, when, when the UNASA was designed as a camp with physical activities and activities for personal growth, and that part is called psychosynthesis, which are exercises, visualization exercises, guided imagery for personal and spiritual growth. And most participants in the camp start doing these exercises quite well. It helps them to relax, become more peaceful. Also often helps them to fall asleep sooner than usual since their minds are so active. This is often a distinct problem. Over the years, we have started the camp in Michigan, and it has grown from 15 kids in the beginning to now over 70 at the Colorado site, and recently nearly 40 at the Michigan site. And they find an environment that is safe, non-judgmental, where the kids feel that they can be themselves. They do not have hide their abilities or do not have to compete with anyone, or they don't have to meet anyone's expectations other than be together, enjoy the activities. And what they so often stress that it's the social aspect, meeting other kids from different parts of the country, sometimes the part where they live, meeting others is the most valuable part next to the programs that we have designed. The impact of UNASA sometimes is enough that it is that one year and the child cannot return for various reasons and yet the impact of it stays with them. We know of that because of the gratitude they express for the program, but this grows even more when they come year after year, three, four, five, in some cases even seven, eight, and in one case, nine years in when they started at nine and finished at 17 or 18. The growth is cumulative, that coming back and several times meeting their friends, it, it has tremendous 
impact boosting for for their sense of well-being for lifting the sense of isolation enables contact outside of camp by various means and the gratitude expressed by parents and the campers themselves is to us always more than we can expect. It is, this, it is such a deep gratitude for the program because there's no other program like it. And that's what they often stress that many of them have gone to other camps for special uh, developing their special talents or academic programs, but UNASA is for personal growth. And that's what the children appreciate. Mm. IEA, of course, runs other programs that I know about. They're important. Um, and there's the apprenticeship program, and then there is the Bradley Scholarship Program, which is very important because it serves so many um, gifted youngsters selected at the level of middle school that they can go then to a high school of their choice anywhere in the country. And that is, the cost is covered for the four years of high school. And at the annual meeting here again, the gratitude for the program, the opportunities that it offers is, is, is always so profound, so wonderful to hear. And by now, uh, the number of children and young people served, it's already over 11,000. When we first started in 2002 with UNASA and other programs, and then it was one camp for 10 years, and in 2012, the UNASA, the second camp was started. And so there are two sites now. And also, since we've capped it at 14, the first year and the second year campers, when they had to leave at 14, they said to us, we are coming back. You have to design something for us. And that's how the leadership program emerged and was designed, developed over the years. And many of the campers apply to it and go through two years of it. And the bonding between them is something to behold. And they feel well equipped to meet the challenges of life. Thank you this program. <laughs> and um, also, sometimes we are asked, what is our favorite memory of our time involved with these programs? Of course, for me, it is always the beginning when we worked for a couple of years to design the camp, to design the program, to find the site, which is not an easy thing. And it was in Michigan on the West Bank amidst the dunes on a large camp. And we realized in the first week of UNASA that not all counselors at the YMCA were equipped to deal with gifted children. And this is how it was quickly realized that we have to have our own counselors and we have to interview them, select them so that they are gifted themselves and will be able to easily relate to gifted kids and respond to them. And that has worked beautifully over the years until the time a few years ago when all the counselors are now those who have gone through UNASA, so know it inside out. And 
know what the initial anxieties and fears might be and uncertainties of children coming to camp. And um, that works really beautifully. And so many of them, even, even those who are 11, 12 year olds, already dream of being counselors when they grow up and reach the age when they can when they can do that. Mm. So this is the 25th anniversary of the Institute for Education Advancements with all its wonderful achievements of serving highly gifted and profoundly gifted kids and young people. And really is the time to wish happy anniversary from the bottom of my heart. It is so wonderful to have been part of it, of all the development. And we have met so many hundreds and hundreds of absolutely wonderful gifted children and young people. <laughs>